okay. So I think we could get one more in, possibly. Let's see. The grand plan. This might actually be... Is this the final mission? No, this might be the last... The second to last? No, this might be the final. I'm not sure. Jake, listen carefully. You've probably been wondering why you've been flying around gathering all these components. Well, it's all coming together, and I need you more than ever. We used Cassiter shipyards to construct a special frigate. It looks, flies, and scans just like a spanner craft. The engine core you got from that Galspan frigate completes the illusion. Director Atkins doesn't know a thing about it. We've mounted the Armageddon laser on it and corrected for the power surge that killed the Valiant. We surrounded its hull with a sensor jamming system that Castor made from your scans of the Demon Pirates. Now, the spanner codes have been uploaded into its communications array. This thing can slip deep into Hephaestus Sector, and that's where we're going. I'm counting on you, Jake. If you don't pull this off, it's all over. We've got to take out the Hephaestus mining platform. The strike frigate's name is Deliverance. We've got my lance fighters surrounding it now in Draconis Sector. Get your best ship out there. This is it, Jake. Make it count. All right. Yeah, I think this is the final mission. So, let's do this. Uh, do I have uh, Helios rockets yet? Or is it just I'm just screwed out of them? Is that a thing that I just don't have anymore? I guess I should bring some plasma rockets, though. That's probably a good bet. So let's grab some of those. I have a feeling I'm going to need some heavy duty things. And Chrono Device, we're not going to deal with right now. Shield Reserves, I think I got everything else. Everything else a uh, growing boy would need. What is this? This is a face sapper. Um, I think I'm just going to load up on rockets. I'm not going to worry about face sappers and things. I think that's. I think that sounds like a good idea. Actually, I should just buy a full. A full pack of, yeah, yeah. I should probably buy a full pack of, a full pack of plasma rockets just because, just because. And actually, we have what is this? This is my rail gun. I have two rail guns though. This one's on the primary. Do I really need both? Because I feel like I could just bring some more plasma rockets and just call it a day. Um, yeah, let's just bring another set of plasma rockets, and then that way I know that I've got everything I need, because I believe we might be going up against capital ships, but we'll, we'll, I mean, that's what we've been going up against pretty much as it is, but I just want to, I have a feeling that that's a thing that's going to happen. What happened to the, uh, oh, there it is, down there, okay, never mind. Alright, I think this is good, let's, let's go with this for now. If not, I'll switch it up again. Get out there and show them what Bora do to thieving Spanner trash. Susan's last message said she was prepping the strike team in Draconis Sector. We're all with you, Jake. Thanks, Annie. So, this is it, right? Uh, after this, no more Galspan? <laughs> Let's hope Susan knows what she's doing. Wish me luck. Good luck, Jake. I hope to see you when you get back. Yeah, I'd like that. Uh, laying in my course now. <laughs> now you want to see me? After all this? Jeez. Nothing like keeping a guy hanging there. Whoa! What the hell? Two satellites just got destroyed. Running through a damn huh. Mercs this close to Liberty Base? This can't be good. Unidentified craft, you are entering Boris space. What's your business? Business, huh? We just found our business. Send word back to Atkins to get these gates closed. They're closing the gates? Oh, for crying out loud, I don't have time for some stupid mercenary trap right now. Alright, guys, look, you probably got paid to try and take me out, right? Well, you see, it's not going to happen, so why don't we just call it a day and open the gates back up? We're all reasonable people here, aren't we? Sorry, Logan. Nothing personal. Everybody's going to die sometime, and we're going to strike the mother load when this contract goes green. Galspan really wants you dead in a hurry. Uh-huh. Well, you see, 
When I hull you, I'm not going to get paid at all. I'm just going to have a much better day. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Alright. Oh, Jesus. There's so many Corvuses. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Send all these guys after me, huh? Couldn't come after me one-on-one? Because one on one? I'm just that damn good, huh? Alright. So be it. Let's uh, send my... Yeah! yeah. As she screams in my ear. Send her off to... To do some things. In the meantime... Oh, these guys are already on me. Now let's see how much... Damage I can do here. I need my railgun to... Just to get these guys down... I'm done with a little bit faster. And this guy's on my tail now. I am really getting slacked here. Come on, Jake, you've been through worse. Okay, maybe not, but this ain't enough to kill you. Throwing missiles at me. Probably should have just had my wingman cover me. That's probably. Down. All right, more missiles coming my way, huh? Jake, hang in there. We're coming in. All pilots flag those Merc traders. About time the cavalry came. Glad to see you. Hey, where's the strike fleet? Ready and waiting, Jake. But we don't leave a lance member behind to get hauled by a bunch of contract slashers. Keep dodging, and you'll be clear in no time. Oh, I don't have enough power for my railgun, because I've been using up all my other things here. Alright, that's fine. Oh, ouch. Ouch, I say to that. Alright, you leave my wingman alone. Alright, let's uh, do what we can here. Good to see the cavalry. I survived long enough to get to get some help. So all I c and actually, I don't. I didn't take really any hull damage. It doesn't look like. So that's fantastic news. Come on, come on! Oh, 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 oh! Don't shoot me! Shoot the other guy! Jesus! Jesus, wingman! You're supposed to shoot the other guy, not me. What am I paying you for? Okay. All right, this guy actually stopped it, stopped dead for some reason. All right, we're 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 whoops whoops that's ooh rear view ooh I didn't know I had to rear view what the hell uh yeah you need to just Indeed. follow me because you're you're gonna end up shooting me instead of the instead of the enemy. Uh, okay, all right. Oh, there's still other people attacking him. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. All right. So that said, yeah, we got all kinds of people helping out here, which I am happy about. This guy, this guy's coming in. All righty then. Going mono mono there. Now, if you get his shields down, I can do a lot better. All right, we're down to the last Merc here, finally. And, uh, fortunately, my wingman got killed somehow. She kind of bumped into me and just exploded. So that's unfortunate, but hopefully we won't need her services in the next part of this, I'm hoping. Let's just uh, keep this guy out. Lost a couple of uh, friendly battle axes too. Hopefully that's not going to hurt too much either. But we'll see. 
As this guy just freaking keeps eluding me. Just, just die, guy. Just give up. You're the final one. You might as well just stand in place and let me shoot you. And you're down to one. That's it, warriors. Regroup at Liberty Base and get those ships repaired. Jake, no more rescues, right? Oh, so now this is my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see me falling into any mercenary traps, do you? Get back home. Home? What do you mean? Liberty Base. Home. You're one of the family, Jake. Get used to it. I was so worried about you when I heard about the Merc ambush. Damn spanners are too cowardly to even fight their own battles. I knew you'd blast your way out fine, though. You always do. Susan's pulled the fleet back for a little while to rearm and refuel. Galspan's got to fall now, Jake. Once the Hephaestus, Galspan's super mining platform, is online, the Spanners will make so much money that they'll be able to afford ten ships for every one of ours. This is our last chance. All right. Well, that wasn't quite the last mission, but that was the second to last mission. So, um, let's see how I want to do this. I guess mm, I don't want to make this episode too long, but at the same time, I don't want to make the other episode only like five minutes. So I'm going to try to fit this one in. Let's see how this works. All right. Back to the job board for our final mission here. The final assault on Galspan. All right, Jake. Everything's checked. Make sure you're armed to the teeth for this one. Deliverance is going to be masking all of the fighters near it with the stealth system we got from Cassiter. Stick close and escort it in. You should be able to ride all the way into the Hephaestus complex. Don't attack anything on the way unless Susan gives the signal. I'll be here, coordinating the diversions to keep their main forces confused, but I'll be with you in spirit. We all will. All right, so be it. Let's get a wingman, because, uh, kind of, the other one's kind of dead. Uh, let's see, got the kills. What is this guy? Ryan Cyril. Um, sure, I guess. What is this one? 35, the robots. Yeah, oh, I guess we'll take this guy. I guess. I mean, the first one we started out with, right? 40, 25, yeah, all right, all right, fine. All right, fine, we'll just deal with this guy. Do it. Hire them? So, Ryan, you've got quite a reputation. I heard about you, Jake. I like how you handle problems. No, no, wait, I'm not like you. I was framed for that massacre in Seoul. No matter. I still like your style. All right, Jake. All right, I think we're all decked out for this one because uh, I did configure the ship earlier thinking that, that was the last one. So we shall launch. Jake, this is the last time we'll speak until it's all over. Stay in one piece, all right? Don't worry, Anna. I got a feeling Galspan stock is about to hit an all-time low. And Jake, I just want you to know that, that I... Hey, listen, Annie, uh, when this is all over, I'm thinking about finally settling down. Maybe, uh, just maybe you and a guy like me could, uh, you know... All right, Bora, cut the chatter and keep it tight. Deliverance, initiate the stealth module now. Activating stealth module. Susan Bradley, cock blocker. Everything looks like Cassiter said it would, but man, this thing takes a lot of power. All right, Bora. As long as we stay near the Deliverance, our ships are virtually impossible to get a firm lock on. As far as the spanners know, we're reinforcements. Captain, I want you to keep the laser core warm this time. No more malfunctions. Energizing the accelerator coils. Warp projector in three, two, one. All right, Bora. Through the gate. And try to fly like spanners. You mean badly? <laughs> All right. 
right, last one in. Stars that magnetized our holes in the fields back there and screwed up our scanners. I guess yours too. We're heading back to Hellas for degaussing. Hey, uh, something's wrong. Those ships, they look almost Bora. Bora? Check your scans, Will. That's a Gauss band frigate if I've ever seen one. They said they hit a Ripstar. No, not the frigate, the fighters. Look, look at the fighters. Destroy those scouts. Sure thing, boss. Goodbye, Spanners. All right, got some scouts that are getting a little bit too, uh, a little bit too friendly here. Let's do a F9 and one. Consider him dead. And then we'll grab this guy. Take care of him. Maybe not make short work of them, but mm, certainly try. Please don't shoot me, wingman. Please. Didn't I send you off? Loser. Didn't I send you off to shoot somebody else? Yeah, this guy over here. All right. And one more. We've got the spanner computer online. Good. Start the transmission. Bora, this is either going to open the gate quietly or alert the entire spanner fleet that we're here. I vote for the former. <laughs> so do I. So do I. We have confirmed gate response. The generator coils firing. The gate's opening. All right. See you on the other side, Deliverance. So we're going to head for the Ripstar field now. Hopefully. like to have my lasers recharge though. Put it around a little bit just for that. There we go. Very nice. As everybody goes out ahead of me, and time for me to head on through as well. And away. We go, my friends. Yeah, it looks like Galspan hired a bunch of dimers from Cinder Station. Let's haul them. Okay. Time to earn our pay, I guess. We're getting paid. I don't know if we're getting paid. I assume we are. Okay, get all these guys to die at once if we can. And try not to get shot by my own people. That's that's the goal here. Oops, I hit somebody I didn't intend to. Hopefully they don't hold it against me. Somebody is on my tail already. Go figure. My shields are down! Come on, come on, come on. Kill this guy and go home here. Yeah, his shields weren't down enough. That's unfortunate. And still, still not enough. Just, oh, I took him down to one, so that was still pretty good, I guess. I guess. Now, just 
line yourself up so you can so I can just take you out quickly. That's all I'm asking. All I'm asking for here. I'm hit. And now with the rail gun right there. Oh. Yep, got him down pretty good. No, take that. <laughs> he just did not want to die. Did not want to go. Don't know why. Alright. So some of those Orions are getting killed. That's good. It looks like my wingman is still tangling with a few. Make sure we help him out a little bit here. This guy. I'm hit. Guys, am I the only one here fighting? Come on, today. <laughs> I'm glad he said something. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Taking forever and a day to, to do things. Ooh, okay, let's away from that. Alright, there. Taking a guy down. They're just terrible so shots. Now, are you? Just terrible shots. Yeah, we're very slowly wearing down each of the elements here. It's good to see other boar attacking people too. Right, this guy... This guy here is taking pot shots at people. Let's see if I can get him to get a life if someone else has him targeted alright I missed with that railgun shot as I tend to I'm going to sit here for a few minutes and let my lasers charge up because I have a feeling I'm going to need them. This is Hephaestus Control to unauthorized ships. You are not cleared for access to this sector. Return through Draconis TCG immediately and report to Hellas for reassignment. I repeat, this is Hephaestus Control to unauthorized ships. Oh, look at those defenses! Susan, I don't think we can do this! Enough of that, Bevan. We can and we will. Stay steady, Bora. My shield are down. I'm hit! Armageddon core charging. Power drain increasing. Generators are redlining. We can't sustain this output. Shut down that stealth module. Weapons firing. Now. Gas man mining structure tested. We are under attack by a covert core and strike force. All gas man units, destroy that frigate immediately. Just when you thought it was safe to go outside at night, my friends, time to displace Mary League Death returns. <laughs> um, so, the recording session that I started out with, uh, I ended up wor working on this last mission for about a half an hour. And then I gave up and I had to start over again with a brand new recording session. The second time through, I did not uh, record my audio because I knew I was going to be in it for a long haul. This particular mission, this final mission here, is not broken, thankfully. Um, it's just extremely difficult. To the point where, as you can see on your screen, I basically just sat, parked myself behind 
the Hephaestus, and I'm just waiting now for our frigate to take their shields down, which they will do successfully until, uh, you know, every single time uh, before getting destroyed eventually. Uh, it's pretty much scripted that they will get destroyed, but not uh, right away, not before they take the shields down. Once they take the shields down, I'm in a good spot here where most of the enemy fighters are not going to attack me, although I do get attacked at one point. Uh, and I manage to get away and come back with almost no hull left. Um, you'll see that in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to unload all my weapons and just keep firing on it once their shields go down. And as far as this clip is concerned, I'm going to basically cut around so that you can hear the story uh, rather than just kind of sitting here watching me repeatedly just attack this thing and get one hull damage down at a time on it. It is a very long and drawn out process, so I'll, I will spare you some of that. Uh, so, sit back and enjoy the story as I cut around to make it happen. And I will return uh, after all is said and done for my final thoughts. your belly aching, Bev, and all she wants you to do is slag that station. You've got to trust me, all of you. If we destroy this structure, we'll get out of this alive, I promise you. Bora, I'm picking up a carrier entering the region. Slag, it's the Zeus. This is Director Atkins. Uh, I gotta hold this bucket together. Come on, you bucket of bolts, let's go. I go as did the Valiant. Forever we will be remembered for our sacrifice. Our strength will carry the war on the Ah, they slagged the deliverance in one shot! Susan, this is hopeless! Come on, Bevan, suck it up. Just keep attacking that structure. Oh, we are in so deep. All Galsband military, please destroy those fighters immediately. Triple salaries to whoever lands a shot on any of them. Ignore Atkins. He'll be singing a different tune after we slag that structure. This is the Tekion News Service live at the Hephaestus mining platform in the heart of the fringe where a titanic battle is taking place right before our eyes. Susan Bradley, leader of the Bora, has led a small group of her loyal terrorists deep into Galspan defenses in an attempt to destroy the multi-trillion credit installation. Galspan stock has already dropped a record 47 points since the initial broadcast of this story just a few moments ago. Director Atkins, do you care to comment? Thank the stars. I thought they weren't coming. Oh, I get it. We want reporters here for the Galspan stock to fall, right? Not just that. They're our ticket out of here. Just keep fighting that station. We're halfway, Bora. Keep fighting! Keep going. We can do this. This is Director Atkins. Ten times more salaries for any who destroy one of those damn Bora vessels. And contract termination for any pilots to harm them. Destroy those vessels! Director Atkins, TNS News. Do you have any comments to calm your investors? It looks like they're fleeing in droves. Your company has just been added to the most troubled list of the Galactic 5000. Susan, it's been real nice knowing you. We're not dead yet, Jake. Director Atkins, 
Hephaestus is gone. You and I both know there's no reason for you to be here. A single additional shot would just be wasted resources on your report. And I've made sure TNS is here to record every one. This is amazing, folks. Susan Bradley of the Bora and Jake Logan of the Halley Station Massacre are standing side by side and demanding Galspan remove themselves from the fringe. Such courage, such bravery. Susan, are you nuts? He wants us dead more than ever. Attention, attention, all Galspan units. Return to your hangars for immediate withdrawal. No one is to fire on the Bora unless directly provoked. <laughs> Bradley, you're quite insightful, and unfortunately for me, also correct. It is no longer profitable for Galspan to continue pursuing fringe operations. You have earned your little patch of space. Enjoy it. Unbelievable! Galspan has officially withdrawn from the fringe! Yes! Yes, we're getting reports from all over the region that Galspan stations have initiated a system-wide weapons stand-down. And this just in from Seoul, several senior members of Galspan's board, including Regional Director Adkins, have been fired. Oberon Incorporated is already expressing interest in a buyout of the unstable company. It appears that the Bora Freedom Fighters have finally won the right to their space, having scored a complete victory over the Galactic Spanning Corporation. The Bora had good reason to celebrate. They were finally free of corporate interference. And although I know I'm one of the family, I didn't feel like sticking around for all the hoo-ha. Nope, a long vacation with the beautiful Anna is exactly what old Jake Logan ordered. Yep, not a bad life for a star pilot. And that, my friends, was Tachyon the Fringe. Now, obviously, I play through the Bora missions. There were, you could also play as Galspan. But most of the missions were identical, except for... Um, Towards the end there, I think Galspan had one interesting mission that was kind of different than everything else in the game, but not really worth it necessarily to go back and play as them again, uh, because like I said, most of the missions were just exactly identical, except you were on the opposite side uh, of what was going on. But uh, I, the one uh, regret I do have here is that because I've modded the game uh, to make it uh, more visible and, and make it, uh, you know, widescreen and all that stuff we did lose out on all the on all the fog effects and really the fog effects do make a really big difference as far as the atmosphere of the game goes so uh it's unfortunate i wanted to just make sure these were you know 1080p and all that stuff um with all the mods and things but uh, uh if you ever do get a chance to see around the youtubes i'm sure there are other videos of people who are playing it uh, you know vanilla and uh, can show off some of the fog effects and stuff, especially when you get into like, um, you know, when you were doing the like the mad scientist area and all that stuff. It, it does make a huge difference. It does make it, you know, enemies sort of pop out of nowhere on you, and you, you, you're really uh, it, it's far more of a struggle than it actually was uh, this time around, and, and actually quite beautiful too at, at points um, with the fringe array and all that stuff. So uh, overall. I loved the game. I loved it back when I first played it way back in 2001. Uh, and my second playthrough here, I loved it just the same. It's just got that, it's got a certain charm to it. Um, given all the technical limitations that are there, uh, where you can't you leave the station unless you've got a mission going on and all that stuff, and they kind of tweaked it so that you could go to different space stations as long as you pick the mission to go on and all that stuff. So, uh, from that perspective, it was, uh, you know, it's not the biggest technological marvel you ever did see in your life, but, you know, back in the day, it was actually a pretty uh, different concept. You know, this kind of thing is, we almost take it for granted now, but it's uh, it certainly was not a uh, really that prevalent um, it was, the game was overshadowed a lot by other, other games like Wing Commander and things like that. Uh, so I don't think it ever really got the distinction that it needed. 
Um, but it did have, uh, you know, it did have some very good writing to it. It did have some very good uh, voice acting. Um, they tried to take the normal formula of like Privateer and Wing Commander and all that stuff and give it a little bit of a twist and make it so that the missions didn't all feel very identical and all that stuff. And that was that was a fun part about it. There's, there's all those little things that you saw early on where you run into these random events that are going on and stuff like that. Uh, it really does make a big difference. It, it, you don't feel like you're... It's not like Star Crusader where you felt like after a while you were running the same missions over and over and over again. It wasn't really that different. You were just really playing the game for the story. This one, you were still playing the game for the story, but some of the missions uh, did throw some curveballs at you. Uh, and it was kind of nice from that perspective. It's unfortunate some of those missions were broken back then and still are today, but it's, you know... What, what can you do? It's it's a pretty complicated game, and it's a, I'm just glad to be able to play it at all uh, for you guys. So that is that. Is that. A very good game. If you can ever find it anywhere, I suggest you pick it up. Um, I'm hoping at some point in the future, uh, GOG or one of those other sites will be able to pick up the rights for it. Nova Logic doesn't is, exist as like THQ Nordic now or something like that, but... Uh, uh, hopefully someone can get this at, back out there again. In fact, I think actually Tachyon is available on Steam, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you might want to go take a look at that. But anyway, that will do it for my playthrough of this game. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next series.